Chancellor Floton, distinguished guests, graduates, family and friends, and attendees. Thank you for coming today to our graduation. My name is Rodney Wright. I'm a graduate of an MBA in IT management. I'd like to thank Aaron and Nancy for their, their little stories and back and forth about what it takes to, to succeed. I'd also like to point out that I am too here graduating with a family member. Uh, my sister, Tawny, is uh, sitting down there. Tawny, you wanna stand? Say hi to everybody? Okay, sit down, I'm in a kind of time crunch here. <laughs> Tawny's earned her MBA in healthcare management at WG, WGU and has been by my side every step of the way leading to this very moment. I'd like to talk about the road we've all traveled and the message I have today is about perseverance. Um, they're long journeys. There are twists and turns, ups and downs, sacrificed holidays and weekends. Um, and that's all just to get here. Uh, like many of you, the literal road for me uh, to get here was a drive over the mountains from the east side. And I'm proud to represent Richland, Benton County, and the Tri-Cities. But looking back on the figurative road to get here, some of you might wonder how I even made it. Um, and I'm gonna start off with a story. You know, getting a, getting a degree while balancing the responsibilities of real life is, is really difficult, it's never easy. But for me, besides that, I've had my fair share of health issues. And I know that many of you can relate. The story I'm about to tell you it was a turning point in my life, and uh, it, it's defined who I am today. My brother Troy and I went to the firing range on June 6, 2009, and I believe he's here today too. Give a shout out, Troy. There he is. <laughs> that today will ever be for in my mind. Uh, as we returned home from the range, we set up in the kitchen to clean our weapons. Uh, I had a Ruger. 40 caliber semi-automatic handgun. Um, we had an I had an accidental uh, gunshot. Uh, it threw a 40 caliber hollow point through my upper left thigh, severed the back of my fibula, severed all the nerves, and exited out my left calf. I had about 30 seconds to live if we didn't get that bleeding stopped. And thanks to my brother Troy, who applied direct pressure, he saved my life that day. That split second of bad luck led to two weeks in the hospital and two years until I was fully recovered. Fortunately for my rehab, I had my wife, my sister, to keep me on track academically. I was on a lot of pain medications, so I had them take a lot of notes for me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I wish they could have taken my test too, but they didn't. You know that. <laughs> Both my sister and I earned our bachelor's degree at Columbia Basin College in Pasco, Washington. Go Hawks, huh? Go Hawks. <laughs> all right. To this day, I still wear that bullet around my neck. It's a reminder of the fraction of a second that could have derailed my college career forever, or even worse, my life. The second story I'd like to talk about and share happened when I was enrolled at WGU Washington. I suffered a pair of strokes, and the second one paralyzed my right side. I had trouble speaking. Staying focused, I was hospitalized a week and then moved to a convalescent center for rehab. As part of my physical rehab, I relentlessly squeezed this stress ball. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And I thought about the possible consequences of my stroke and realized it was, an important, it was important that I focus on what I could do and not focus on what I could not do. 
I was, gonna, I was not going to let a setback paralyze my future. I made the decision to keep on going. So I jumped right back into my studies while at the convalescent center and made WG Washington my mental rehab. Keeping my mind busy helped me focus on my successes rather than my setbacks. And with support of my wife, my sister, and my student mentor, Barbara Benson, I stayed on track and was able to complete my degree. So whether it's the bullet around my neck or the stress ball in my hand, or a college degree proudly hung on the wall. Each of those are souvenirs I'll always treasure from the long road I've taken to get here today. They serve as reminders that I can overcome any challenge. I didn't stop at a gun, or it didn't stop after a gunshot and two strokes. As fate would have it, I also suffered kidney failure and am a cancer survivor. But never giving up and overcoming all odds is what being a WG Washington night owl is all about. Thank you.